Welcome. In front of me is a Huawei MatePad T10S and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of this device. And when you put it up for the first time, you'll be presented with the welcome screen as you can see right over here. So simply tap on the language that you want to use, which I'm going to stick with English. Tap on get started, select your region and you will be presented with the most welcoming of everything here in terms of service. So obviously you can read it by tapping on details, but at the end of the day, you still have to agree to it if you want to ever use this device. And then um, I have the insert SIM option. Now this one comes with the uh, SIM slot, so LTE. If uh, that is one that you have, then you should see this window. If uh, your tablet doesn't actually have SIM support, well, then you'll kind of skip this step right here. But basically you can insert your SIM card and the moment you do, everything will work fine. Now, I'll also mention that there's a little bit of a caveat to Huawei. Uh, when you insert a SIM card, and for instance, you have selected your language to be English, but you're in a different country that uses some different language, once you insert that SIM card from there, it will automatically change your system language to whatever the SIM card's uh, location is. A little bit annoying. Uh, so from there, I assume you can go back to the language settings and change it back to English, or you can also uh, go through the settings uh, after the setup and change it. So let's proceed further. Then we have network connection. Obviously you can connect to network if you want to. If you don't, you can again skip this like I am. And it gives you a pop-up that if you choose to skip this, you'll miss out on the uh, well, choice to log into your Huawei ID. And that is only throughout the setup, um, meaning uh, because later on, if you connect to Wi-Fi, you can still add the Huawei ID through settings. It won't be as convenient as it is here, uh, but you can still do it. So let's skip this. Uh, data and privacy is so obviously uh, more things that I guess we have to agree to. You can tap on details uh, to see exactly uh, what we are agreeing to here. So let's tap on next. Uh, Huawei mobile services, again, let's go next. Uh, device protection. So here we can actually set up a protection of our device. Uh, set password. Now this will go to a six digit uh, pin, but we can also tap on the change unlock method. And in here we have several different options. So we have four digit, uh, custom pin, uh, pattern, or password. Now I'm going to select a pattern and then all I need to do is draw the pattern that I want to use redraw the same pattern once more, tap on done, and now it's set. Enhanced services, so again you can read uh, this, agree to it or or not, depending if you want whatever they're offering, uh, but I'm just gonna basically skip all of this, I don't, I'm not really interested in anything that they have to offer, like the user experience uh, improvement programs which gathers data on you, uh, share analytics, again more gathering data and sharing to Huawei, uh, Huawei Location Services. Now this is, I believe, uh, just a GPS tracking, which is, I was gonna say, used by Google Maps, but this device, I don't think, has Google. So uh, I believe they have their own maps now. So that's probably what they're gonna be using it for. Again, you can tap on later. Now, whatever you tap on later, uh, the option, I believe, will be disabled, but still, you can later on enable it through the notification panel if you wish to. And now we have keep your software up to date. So uh, this will basically enable the automatic update and it will automatically update your device, I believe overnight. Uh, but you can also tap on the update manually right over here if you don't want it to be updated automatically and choose don't enable. And now you have to physically go into the settings and check for updates and then install them yourself if you want to update your device. And on the next page, we have data import. So on here, on this page specifically, we have the ability to uh, restore our device from either a old backup located on the cloud, uh, move data from another device using their built-in uh, application that they use for just importing data. So on your old device, you would have to download it, uh, assuming it is not a Huawei device. 
And if it is a Huawei device, it's already uh, baked into the phone or device. So you can just turn it on and connect it. And you also have the ability to set it up as new, which that's what I'm gonna go for. And now we have the gesture navigation. So stop on try gestures and if you ever use them, you know that swipe from either side will go back, swipe up will go home and swipe up and hold uh, will go into recent. So I'm not really gonna go through it because it is quite lengthy. Um, and there we go. So now we can tap on finish and there is our device. And that is how you go through the setup of this phone or tablet, I should say. Um, and if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.